So, in our previous lesson, we have done nomenclature, we did all the introduction of the amines. Let's go on to the chemical properties of amines. Now, when we're talking of amines, the most important property of amines over here, that is going to be the basic nature of amines, right? We know that ammonia is basic in nature. Why ammonia is basic? The reason behind that is that it has a lone pair of electrons. So, it is going to behave as a Lewis base, okay? In a similar manner, when we're looking at the structure of amines, it is seen that all the amines, they are going to have a lone pair of electrons, which it can easily donate and as a result of which they are going to behave as amines, right? So they are also going to behave as, uh, you can say, as Lewis spaces. Now, the amines, they are going to be weak bases over here. Uh, as they are going to react with water to give us hydroxyl ions, so, when we are looking at the reaction, let's say that this is an amine reacting with water. This is going to give us RNH3 positive plus OH negative. Now, apply, applying the law of mass action, what are we going to get? KB for the reaction, that is going to be concentration of RNH3 positive into concentration of OH negative upon concentration of RNH2 that is going to be the value of Kb over here the concentration of water that is going to be taken as constant now all those which generally have a higher value of Kb they are going to be stronger bases right so this we already know now the basic strength that can also be exhibited in the form of PKB values where this PKB values that is going to be equal to minus log of KB. Okay? So, ye kya ho jayega? Agar hap bol rahe, greater the value of KB, more is going to be the basic character. In a similar manner, lesser the value of PKB that is going to be more basic. Right? Larger the value of PKB, weaker is the base. Smaller the value of PKB, stronger is the base. Okay? Now, when we talking of comparison of basic strength, let's compare the basic strength of ammonia the first one which we are going to compare over here that is the basic strength of ammonia and amines right in general both are going to behave as bases due to their tendency to donate the lone pair of electrons now over here just see that the amines they are going to be more basic let's see how when we're talking of nitrogen uh, uh, in terms of ammonia over here ammonia is going to behave as a base because it has a tendency to give this lone pair of electrons right now if we're taking a prime if we are taking the case of a primary amine over here now this alkyl group due to its plus i effect that is positive inductive effect it will have a tendency to donate the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen as a result of which the electron density of nitrogen will increase and the electrons they can be easily removed therefore the alkyl amines they are going to be stronger bases with respect to ammonia. Now let's over here try and compare the 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree amines also. Now in case of ammonia, if we're looking at the structure, this is how we can draw the structure. In case of primary amine, there is going to be one and prime group present. Okay? In case of secondary amines, there are going to be group present and in case of tertiary amines there are going to be three alkyl group present now over here this one alkyl group is going to give its electrons on nitrogen as a result of which the electron density will increase and the basic character will also increase in case of secondary there are two alkyl groups Okay? Because of these two alkyl groups, again what is going to happen? The electron density will increase further and the basic character should increase. Okay? 
Now, if there are three entire groups over here, the basic character will still increase. Right? It should still increase. So, according to, if you are only taking into consideration the plaza effect, according to that, the tertiary amines should be most basic due to the plaza effect. Then it should be two degree amines, then it should be one degree amines. Now, this is true in case of gaseous phase. So, if we are taking the trend of basic strength in terms of gaseous phase, then this trend that is 3 degrees more basic than 2 degrees more basic than 1 degree, that is going to be true. But if we are taking aqueous phase, we will see that the order of basic strength followed will not be the same as it is followed in gaseous phase. So let's see what is going to be the difference over here. Okay. Now when we are talking in aqueous phase, in case of aqueous phase, it is seen that the trend which is going to be followed, that is going to be 2 degree is going to be more basic than 1 degree is going to be more basic than 3 degree. And this is the trend followed if the alkyl group is a smaller group like the methyl group. So if you are taking methyl secondary, okay, 2 degree methyl only, that is going to be more basic than methanamide and that is going to be more basic than NN dimethyl methanamide. Right? But if there is going to be a bulkier group present, like for example, if instead of methyl group, we are having uh, ethyl group. So in that case, the trend follow is going to be different. What is going to be the trend? In case of C2H5, secondary is going to be most basic. Then it is going to be tertiary instead of primary. And then the least basic over here, that is going to be 1 degree. Now let's understand why this is happening over here. Why the trend is not the same as which is followed in the gaseous phase or why the trend changes when we are using the bulkier groups, right? Now in this case, when we are talking of the basic strength, the basic strength in aqueous solutions, that is going to depend upon two factors. The first one which is known as the steric factor and the second one which is known as the hydration effect. Now this is a very very important concept from this chapter because always we predict one question from this section. Okay, so if we are talking of paper of 2000, question paper of 2017 boards, we got one question from this section. And also when we are talking of competitions, this is the trend which is going to come. Okay, what is going to be the basic strength of the following? So, aapko yaad rakhna hai, in case the group is methyl group, then in that case 2 degree is more basic than 1 degree is more basic than 3 degree. But if we are taking larger groups than the methyl group, then the trend is going to be 2 degree is more basic than 3 degree is more basic than 1 degree. Theak hai? Now, over here, when we are talking of the first kind of effect, that is the steric, uh, the steric hindrance or the steric effect, over here, Basically, uh, alright, let's say we are taking an example of tertiary over here. Theak hai? Ab kya hoga ki all these three alkyl groups, they are going to be bigger groups. As a result, they are going to crowd around nitrogen. Right? So, we can say that these have a tendency to cover the nitrogen. As they cover the nitrogen from all the three sides, this will make the incoming species which is positively charged and which wants to form a bond with these two lone pair of electrons, this lone pair of electrons which is present over here, that is going to become difficult. Okay? So the approaching, uh, you can say approaching element or approaching group of species that is going to find it difficult to come nearer to nitrogen as a result of which in higher cases, what is going to happen? When 
when the entire group that is going to be larger, then the basic character should be minimum. Okay? So, this is one thing. Then, over here, but it is not only the steric effect which is going to affect the basic strength over here. It is also going to be the hydration effect and the combination of three different effects. That is the plus side effect, the steric effect and the hydration effect. They are, they are going to give us finally these strengths. So, let's understand over here what the hydration effect is. When we taking the hydration effect, the hydration effect that will depend or the stability of the conjugated acid that is going to defect, uh, that is going to depend on the fact that how easily the proton that is being accepted from the solution. Okay. So let's talk of first of all the primary. In case of primary, there are going to be two hydrogens which are present. Okay. So we aqueous with Allah is go aqueous with this will have a tendency to accept the hydrogen, right? So this accepts the hydrogen to give to get us uh, to give us a conjugated acid over here. Right? Now as you can see over here, there are going to be three hydrogens which are present. All these three hydrogens they can very easily form hydrogen bonds with water. As a result of which the size of the enthyl group that becomes very very large. So it is forming hydrogen bond with water over here. Then this hydrogen also and this hydrogen also. Okay. Now let's go on to the secondary. This is the secondary one. Sorry, H over here. Right? Now over here the protonated acid which we are going to get is going to have two hydrogens. So we have R, N, H, H and H. Let's put a positive charge on nitrogen over here. Right? Now what do we have here? We have an entire group. So we have only two hydrogens which can form hydrogen bonds with water. Right? So the size over here that is going to decrease. What will we get? You can see that the size decreases, right? Now, when we're talking of tertiary, in case of tertiary, there's going to be only one hydrogen present in the protonated acid. Okay? Now, this is going to form very less hydrogen bond, and the size will still decrease further. Consider 
concentration all the three effects that is a combination of the electron releasing effect a combination of the hydrogen bonding and a combination of the steric hindrance factors this is going to determine the stability of the ammonium cation in solution and therefore the trend given is 2 degree greater than 3 degree greater than 1 degree Okay, so this is going to be the basic strength in case of aqueous solutions. But please remember that alkyl group comes at the end. On the basis of it, the trend will change. In methyl amine and ethyl amine, there is going to be a change. Right? So this is a comparative study of basic strength of amines. Let's go on to the comparative study of uh, basic strength of aromatic amines and aliphatic amines.
in your competitions. So let's go on to examples of basic strength in decreasing order. Alright, so we're taking examples in decreasing order of basicity of certain molecules. Right? First, we are taking on the basis of hybridization. So we have CHG NH2. Over here, SP3 hybridization is present. This is going to be more basic than CH3 N double bond amines CH CH3. So this, these are amines, these are amines. Yaapi the hybridization is SP2. Yaapi the hybridization is SP3. So SP3 is going to be more basic. Then the cyano compounds. Okay, so SP jo hai, that is going to be least basic. Right? Clear ho gaya? Another trend which we can do over here, that is, we are again taking SP3 hybridization with three carbon atoms. SP3 most basic. Phir uske baad, if there is a double bond character which is present, So, here hybridization sp2 okay? So, the basic strength that is going to decrease and if there is sp hybridization present this is going to be least basic. If there is a triple bond which is present in the carbon chain. Okay? Then, the third thread which we are going to do this is secondary as we just discussed, secondary that is going to be most basic in case of methyl. Then it is going to be primary. Then it is going to be ammonia. Or tertiary, jo yaha pe hoga, wo jo hai, that is going to be less basic. Okay? Or ammonia se bhi jo kam basic hai, that is going to be anion. So, these trends are the this are very important when you want to sit for your JE and your meat. Uh, okay? Then so, another trend which we are going to do over here is the fourth one that is secondary amine is going to be more basic than n phenyl with N-amine Right? Which is going to be more basic than aniline. Okay? And then finally, fifth CH3, CH2, NH2, this is the thenamide, which is going to be more basic than amide, benzamide. This is benzamide and which is going to be more basic than acetamide. Right? So these are the trends which you need to remember. Now this section over here, the basic strength, this is a very 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 important sector. Now you really need to study very very hard or read this in and out from your reference books first. And then of course when you want to summarize you can go on to the NCRD. But it is very very important to understand this. Either you can understand this from the lecture which I have taught you. Or if you still have certain uh, problems with this you can read through your book. Okay? So today we are going to do only till here. Tomorrow we go on to general methods of preparations of